Hey everyone, good morning. It's me, John Medina. M E D I N A. And today we're in the uh, kitchen studio, a, a new kitchen studio, a different kitchen studio. And uh, we're going to be uh, making one of my favorite morning uh, uh, delicacies that I'm going to be sharing with you today. It's called, and I call it, uh, uh, what do I call it? Chimmy Chunga Lunga Gunga. Lunga 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 Bunga. Unga Bunga. It is the best, and stay tuned. You'll, you're going to enjoy it. All right. Hey, it's me. I'm back. Welcome back. And uh, like I said, we're going to do the uh, chimichanga unga bunga gunga lunga. So it's uh, really, uh, really uh, inexpensive and, and uh, healthy. You know, to do something in a pinch if you got to some stuff to do, but you don't really have anything to do. So uh, we're gonna start off with three three eggs. We'll just, we'll do some some uh, scrambled egg action here. And I'm gonna have to do this with one hand because I can't um, use a camera, and so it's gonna be kind of awkward. But we're gonna get through this together, okay? So it's one egg. So people have been asking me, you know, Jay, where'd you come up with this uh, the idea for this delicacy? And it's it's kind of been around for a while. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's basically a very simple. Do things. I'm going to use three eggs, and um, I'm just going to scramble them. <coughs> and pretty simple so far, right? Uh, so how's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? This morning, and we're having fun cooking in the kitchen with me, John Medina. M. You know, some people don't know how to spell my name. They get my name wrong. That's M E uh, D I I N A M E D I N A. For in Spanish, it's M A E D E N A A. And one. One would be John Medina. Medina. And this is kind of a Spanish, kind of a Spanish, uh, uh, anyway, what we're doing here. Dollar store, Dollar Tree, or wherever. We're using um, Posada. Today we're using Posada Chimichanga, frozen Chimichanga. I guess I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to use that today. And it should be really, really quick. We're just going to um, pop it in the microwave for couple of minutes, two and a half. It's got the instructions <coughs> right there. So, two and a half minutes. Particular chimichangas, you just leave it in the pan, you just open it up, 
open the package up with a knife or a scissors. For scissors because you get more of an even cut. Today I was just in a hurry, so I just ripped it open. <laughs> you know, just ripped it open. And so you the package, just put it on a microwavable plate and you throw it in the microwave for two and a half. So let's do that. So while we're doing that, we'll start. We'll get started with the eggs. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, we're back, and now we're going to be working on those scrambled eggs. Uh, it's good if you're doing scrambled eggs. It's good to really beat them. Uh, like I said, I might have mentioned this in another video that I've done. Uh, I used to put a little bit of milk and cream in there to to uh, get them fluffy. But you know, if you really beat the eggs for a little while, if you really beat them suckers. They're going to come out really fluffy and really nice. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, we got the chimichanga working in there. It's got a couple of seconds left, so I want to get this going uh, with the egg. Put this right here for now. I'm just going to use a little bit of butter. Well, actually, I use a lot of butter uh, for my uh, eggs. So there's the egg. Uh, using some real butter. And... Uh, Get that, uh, get that going. Um, I'm keep my hands kind of clean because I'm using the camera. You can take a look. I've got some of the uh, get that butter working. And uh oh, I mean the chimichanga is just about ready. The thing about this is you want to have everything, you know, pretty much ready to go. I think I still have another 30 seconds left for my chimichanga before it's really cooked. So we're going to do another 30 seconds. Uh, got the butter here. The egg is just about ready to go. Um, get that egg just a little bit. Focus, focus, camera's not focusing, a little bit blurry. Why? But uh, yeah, the egg goes in there. Just a basic, simple, basic kind of meal. You're on the go. It doesn't take very long. It's already got the uh, we've got the chimichanga ready to go. Um, so we're gonna take the chimichanga out. There it is. Yeah, it's still in the package. There it is. The chimichanga there and the egg getting ready. Ready to be scrambled. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, we're back. And my name is John Medina, and we're, today we're working on uh, the chimichanga unga bunga lunga lunga gunga. <coughs> it's a traditional uh, meal that I've made for years and uh, here's the here's the chimichanga it's out of the microwave it's all hot and ready to go uh, these eggs are ready to be uh, scrambled so we're gonna start scrambling these eggs Ooh, yeah we're gonna scramble them a little bit Pretty good now, the key to making a really good scrambled egg is to you know, keep them kind of keep them going and uh, you know, make them really kind of fluffy. I like my eggs a little bit fluffy and, and white, not too, not too brown. Um, that kind of, kind of scrambled egg. And since I don't use salt, or try not to use salt, I use uh, a little bit of soy sauce. So, soy sauce, soy, soy, soy sauce. And uh, so I'll put a little bit of soy sauce on the egg, just like this. Get it going. And uh, a little bit. Of, it's cooking, so it's going nice. It looks real. Looks really good. This egg is kind of a. Uh, it's like a brownish egg. Color is good though. It looks nice. 
this is fluffy just the way I like it. But, you know, you can cook it any way you like it too. Um, uh, some people like their uh, scrambled eggs mushy, and some people like um, you know fluffy. These are kind of uh, kind of in between. I kind of like to do a little, little flip there. Get them nice and uh, on a moderate flame. And uh, you can see the flame water. And it's going to, it's got the chimichanga here. And uh, you know, the chimichanga might come out of the microwave a little bit dry. So what I like to do is also, I put soy sauce in just about everything. So I'll put a little bit, just a little bit on top. Just let that soak a little bit. Taste. Yeah. So that's working out pretty good. And the eggs are coming along. Use a little flip, an extra flip here. Careful when you're flipping. Oh, the egg is looking good. And, uh, and uh, today we're going to be using a little bit of paste picante. I like to use a little bit of the paste picante on the side, you know, just to put a little flavor on there and and uh, and make it look really good and tasty. We'll be right back with the finishing touches on the chimichanga. Uh, unga bunga, palunga, gunga, gunga. Okay, so we're back, and the eggs are just about done. The eggs look really good and ready. And I'm just gonna throw the mite here on top. Just throw the mite on top of the chimichanga. And nice. And I'm a little bit here for presentation. Special. And you know, I put a little bit of drizzle of the paste uh, uh, picante sauce there. And uh, that's it. 